As someone who listens to a lot of music, or constantly has an earphone in, this game is a surprise. Music is a big driver for me, for these videos and throughout my days. I love how much there is to learn about it, and the library of knowledge never seems to end, which to me is just thrilling. Podcasts and audiobooks are always teaching me something new. Perspectives and knowledge from other people from around the world, from different backgrounds and lives. It always feeds me with new ideas about life itself, pushing me forward with my dreams and learning new things and just wanting to be a better human. In a way, it is entertainment, which in itself plays a really big part in all of our lives too, especially today. I saw a video recently that talked just about that. How we're not really addicted to our phones and screens, but rather to media. <laughs> with every good that it gives though, I've also noticed what it takes away from. The gaps, the silence, the boredom, pure existence. I've made videos about this and it seems to be a topic that keeps coming back to me. This morning I put on my socks and shoes, wore my jacket and went out without my headphones. Something I rarely do these days and if it occurs by accident, I'm somehow in a worse mood, unhappy and maybe even mad at myself. These videos take a lot of thought. I think, especially now that I've built a beautiful community on Instagram, I've noticed how the videos themselves are having an impact on people. In result, I think my approach has become more thoughtful. And I think what's been a really good help in result to recent experiences is having more quiet to think and write. To have times of the day filled with silence and gaps. Because as foolish as it might sound, I think sometimes that empty space feeds us more than any information out there could. It forces us to actually think and come up with ideas of our own. Or should I rather say, process everything we learn and absorb and see what our mind makes out of it. If this is something that's absolutely foreign to you, I strongly encourage you to try it. I know our lives are constantly bombarded with the fact that we should be productive every second of every day, of every month, of every year. But if you're like me, at some point that just doesn't feel right. And let's say you are that person. You're someone who takes great pride and values productivity very much. I get it. My mind can't stop racing with ideas sometimes too. And I also want to make the most out of my time while still alive. But I also think we need systems and ways to keep that up. To keep our mind healthy and not lead it to burnout to allow for thoughtfulness and let our brain put two and two together sometimes on its own. Next time you go for a walk or a workout, leave those headphones at home. Next time you eat breakfast or you're at lunch break, put that phone in your pocket. Let the mind wander or be silent and still. You might notice that it can go either way. Maybe thoughts will come up where it's things you don't want to think about. That's okay. If that's the case, just take a deep breath and observe what's around you. That yummy thing you're eating and all of its delicious ingredients. Wow, where did they all come from? I mean, the supermarket, yes, but where were they grown before that? Hmm. Or maybe you notice an idea come up. I think that's a reasonable time to pull out your phone and note it down, unless you have a paper and a pen. I personally have my internet turned off as a default, so I don't get distracted scrolling on Instagram and forget what I came to do here in the first place. Noting that idea down that my mind just came up with. That moment of insight or curious thought. I hope this leaves you with something for your days. I'll always love podcasts, audiobooks, and music. They've made such an impact on my life. I've learned so much from them and they just make life better. But I've been trying to remind myself to have more of these moments. Times of my days where instead of trying to fill every gap with external input, Rather, I tune into the world a little bit more and let the gaps in between speak. See you next week.